which is more open match of fours. That's why I think the next four to thirty six hours are critical. Um, me, myself, I'm. Have you you guys heard of Chief Kessler? Yeah, I know Kessler. I invited him to this call. Excellent. Well, he's appointed me as commander of CSF and three percent BOG. I've been running a a tight ship here in Georgia, and we're just setting the standard for other states to follow. So I just wanted to kind of key you guys in on going on here and channeling the information into one location over the next 24 to 36 hours I think is critical to get good intel from the boots on the ground. Me personally, I'd like to have a request for assistance from the Nevada militia. I'm getting conflicting reports on whether or not um, they even exist. Um, but a uh, the situation where we have to act to defend or prevent bloodshed and on my mind heavily. Permission to speak? Yes. Uh, this is Tony on West Coast. I've had many, many people go up tonight, ask me to get on a call and listen in. Um, pretty heavily involved in a lot of the stuff going on that you guys are talking about. Um, Forced Recon, USMC, 1975 uh -huh. to 1984. Um, did you guys give this a thought? I study America really hard and what our governments do. Did you give it a thought that they're not trying to pull you guys there to start this off? Thank you. That this is a draw-in because uh, we that took, is. we went up and down the whole West Coast, and anybody that would listen, we asked them to stand down because we run inside information all the time, and we got a bad feeling that that's what they're doing. Uh, we will have. We should have confirmation on it by Friday night, Saturday morning at the very latest. But that's what it's looking like to us. They're trying to draw everybody in that's going to show up. I mean, look right now how they're portraying everything online in the social medias. They're showing militias are going to show up. Every picture is of a militia member and camoed out. That I know that's not the message you guys want to send to them. But that's how they're portraying you right now. When it hits the mainstream media and they start showing it on the news, local and national, it's going to portray the militias as camoed out guys with AR-15s in their hands. They're already painting the picture. More this has already more. gone sideways, guys. Yep. They're drawing you in. And I, I, I'm not a guy that says, told you so. I just wanted to throw mine in there. I've been listening to this call for quite a while. Uh, True Blood and Patriot, I believe in everything you guys are doing, but these guys have had hundreds of years to prepare for this. Mm -hmm. If you, the average person has only woken up in the last five to ten years, and the average person in this country isn't even close to being prepared, they're the, at best an armchair patriot. I know you guys aren't, but that's my two cents, and you can take it or leave it. Or just well, sir, that, was, that was well said. Uh, hours, I believe, will be the time to prepare. As long as you're living and breathing, you have time to prepare uh, as best you can. And hey, that's right. That was that's that right. was well said, man. That 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 makes perfect sense, and that's that boils down to what I was saying earlier about if you just pack up and throw stuff in the truck. And exactly. you roll to Nevada from Louisiana, and That's you they're leave looking for. your brothers and sisters behind. You know, if only a couple of us can go, and you've got leaders out of pocket. And guys, then this something call happens is so the home front, and your militia is vulnerable at all points. And yes. it's hard yes. to be in a militia and to get it organized and to get it solid it to where that you it know. Is that you can survive in a worst-case scenario situation. And if you go and you just pack up every time that something's going on, and I'm not saying that if it gets bad enough that we won't pack up and go, but we go as a team and we prepare to go, and we don't go up there and exhaust our resources getting there. So, yes, to me, sir, like, like you need some serious recon up there. And that's, that's what Absolutely. needs to happen. And, 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 and people are making a stand, and they're making a very definite voice that we are fed up. 
the yeah, militia are coming community. together. And I had a buddy just text me today. He's like, I don't understand why militia are not getting together and standing up for this guy. I said, they are. Just look closer. Yes. It's just not on the national news. And Sir, sure I you commend you. You don't think they're not on this call recording? Oh, sure they are. Probably two or three of them. But who gives I mean, a shit? Well, who gives a shit? This is America. America. I'm stating the yeah. obvious here. We, we are free. We are still That's right. free. That's right. We talked about card growers, the, the like fact that we're not doing anything illegal, and they are. We're the ones exactly. that are trying to fix it. They're the ones that are trying to muck it up. They're the ones that are in, acting in fraud. There's armed guards there that are guaranteed contractors that just got hired in the last 72 hours that aren't even part of this company. That are There's verified documents out there right now, if you do a little more research, that all these orders to do all this, it's a land grab, man. It's for mineral rights, oil rights, and everything underneath that ground. Oh, they want to well, take well, over wait, this whole wait, area. I this is, this is eminent domain. This and is I mean, eminent domain at its finest. The military that. wants this land, and they're going to take it every which way they want to. That's what it comes down to. And Blackwater, this is the contract is more than likely. Definitely is. Question? <laughs> That part is those are our brothers, you know. Permission to speak. Sorry, ma'am, I'm swearing in front of you. I didn't know you were there. September of last year, we took 3 million bikers to Washington, D.C. Out of those 3 million bikers, 2 million of them had their license plates covered to avoid identification. Something somebody else might want to think about. Go ahead. A good thought. Say again. Oh. They recommend I mean, I you recommended to cover your license plates. Go ahead, sir. Um, this may be also a, a thing to gauge our strength. I will, you know, can I drive her point home real quick here? We spend a lot of time, we have a network that's almost nationwide now. We spend a lot of time chasing vets down and people that are illegally detained and nobody else knows about it. We, re, we work with the Rutherford Institution on the West Coast or the East Coast and we get these people out. They're pulling them in, questioning them and stuff. And uh, to drive her point home, there's a reason that these guys went, two million went with their license plate covered. They are searching people out and taking them out of their homes. We go to the extremes. We don't ask donations. We're all privately funded to get these vets out and these people out. Uh, we were the ones that got the, oh, Brandon out of jail. We got him hooked up with the Rutherford. Um, we've gotten tons of people out uh, because the Rutherford Institute does know the Constitution, practices it, and they're constitutional lawyers. But her point is, is as longer you're on the grid and the more that you say, here we are in your face, they can single every one of us out one at a time and take you out of your home. And we all know, because we're smart men, especially us military guys, that you don't want to have a shootout in your home because a dead patriot isn't good to the rest of the, the cause. Guys, thank you. Um, pardon me? Guys and gals, please. Guy, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I don't mean to leave gals out. Patriots, uh, patriots are both, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Brothers um, and sisters. Right. Yes. And and I and I complete and I completely understand that. This is Anastasia Jacoby. I'm actually the National Executive Secretary and Media Coordinator for Two Million Bikers to DC. Um, uh, one thing I want to let you know that that we are doing, and I would welcome you to give us any updated instructions for our membership. For the past two days, we have posted the official statement from Stuart Rhodes of Oath Keepers, and we have also posted an action alert items for Nevada for the persons who are not able to actually go to the ranch and what they can do as far as making calls, emails, letters, and such like that, and they're posting that information. We actually posted it several times today on our page. Um, so I would like to give you my contact information. So if those instructions for any of our members, because we do have members that are actually en route to Nevada, um, that we could 
we could post updated information. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, my personal email address is babygirljacoby. That is spelled B-A-B-Y-G-I-R-L-J-A-C-O-B-Y. And that's at gmail.com. And my name is Anastasia Jacoby. And you can find me on Facebook. Um, if you just look on our national page, you can link to my personal page. My page is public. Who, who's got recon in the area? Is anybody? Yeah, we've got uh, Brian. I've got, I've got his phone number. He's got uh, Bush done on the ground. He's actually there. Sean did right a call earlier. Um, okay. If you want a phone number, I could give it. He no, 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 anybody no. I, I got, I got recon in the area. That's why I decided to get involved on this call. Uh, keep, keep your recon giving you information by the hour. Uh, nice. That's going to be the smartest move. But you want your recon in the area because anything you read online, all that stuff can be distorted. Once the story starts, by the time you get it, it can be so distorted. I've probably read 30 in the last three days and everything different to how many people got hurt, how many got tased, how many cattle would be taken, or what happened. The stories just get too distorted. You want live eyes on the ground. And yes, please, God, confirm yeah. the stories. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put. I, I've got uh, uh, an email website address thing uh, I want to put out there to help out from any kind of way that I can from down here in the dirty south. If uh, the fellow running the call is still there, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here, brother. Okay, it's a uh, P Custom Stone at atd.net. And B Custom Stone is all, you know, one fluid word. At atd.net. You don't do the Facebook thing by chance, do you, brother? I do. Uh, my Facebook is Brian Lytle. Brian oh, with an L-Y-T-L-E. 10 four. Send me a friend request or whatnot. And, uh, you know, any any way that I can help out sending supplies or anything like that, uh, because obviously I can't just jump in the truck and go. It would not be a smart move. Hey, are you uh, uh, Kingsport? Do I? Or I'm, I just searched your name in Facebook. I see one for Kingsport. Kingsport? No, I'm yeah. in Walker, man. Louisiana. Um, <laughs> all right. And Brian with an I. L-Y-T-L-E. Yeah, there's about a dozen of you. What? <laughs> well, I thought I was special. <laughs> Now that everybody's calmed down, if I can interject for a moment. Is that Brian Bubba Lytle? Do what? Brian Bubba Lytle? No, Brian Lytle. <laughs> yeah, a few of you popped up there, man. Uh, I've got a green shirt on on my profile, and I was dressed up as a wolf of green for the St. Patty's Day Parade. Huh. Well, I found no you. It took about two seconds. Yeah, no such luck on mine. You still don't have it? Are you next to a black truck, did you say? No. Yeah, no, bro. Yeah, you're not in there. His profile picture is him standing there smiling, and his shirt is green, and it says, "This is my only green shirt." You got it. Uh, I know it, and he's got a really great profile picture with some really cute kids too. Everybody's wearing yeah, that's green. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, he's not That's coming up on Patty's this. Day. There's Irish in this blood. That is my book for you, though. But if it helps, if you're on, man, if you type in free the people, all one word, I pop up. Well, I'm, I'm not by a computer or anything like that. I'm not computer ten, sad. Ten four, if you could remember that. It, maybe uh, I'm being blocked. Any, who knows? Fed book loves me. Free the people? Yeah, all one word. All right, I'll check that out. Hey, I'm Brian, what was your last name again? Lytle. How do you spell that? L Y. T L E. Why you DHS or something? No, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I ch- I- I'm just been listening for the last two hours. I chimed in earlier, just trying to find out what's going on down Look, there. Look, I think ground. I think that this is a great idea to have these conference calls to hear people from mm-hmm. all parts of this nation and uh, have like-minded folks get together and, and and be on the same page. And, yeah, we're we're not all capable of just jumping in the truck and rolling to Nevada. And hey, we have to be diligent. Man. We have to be We have to be smart about everything that we do because our resources are not limitless. And the, the, the opponent that we're up against, their resources are limitless. And it's not wise for us to just go rally up and, and cause a big stink and leave the home front unguarded. And to hear the, the input from everybody, you know, is great. And and that uh, that fellow uh, Freebird, I think his name was, that that's, that's the mentality that we need to be in. That's where we need to be as far as brothers and sisters in arms, you know. We're, we're not looking to cause a stink, but we're definitely got, we're not going to live in it. We're not right. going to sit there and take it. Yeah. And we're tired. I know y'all are. I know I am. I, 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 for 20 years I wanted to, you know, find an organization, and I finally did. And I, I, I ain't looking back. I don't regret it a bit. I wish I would have done it sooner. But had I done it sooner, I don't think I'd be in in uh, an organization like what I'm in now. You know, I don't think I'd be satisfied. I feel like I have people that truly have my back, and I have yeah. theirs. And Who, that's what it's speaking? all about. Who's this? I'm not familiar with voices. I'm sorry. Who's this talking? Brian Lytle. Okay. All right. Cool. Love it, Brian. Uh, I, I do these calls. I do seven calls a week nationwide with different groups uh, for the same thing that we're talking about. And this is tonight has probably been one of the most civilized calls that I have been on. And I appreciate that from everybody. I'm just speaking from my heart right now. Uh, You don't get this very often. Americans are confused and they like to argue over the pity little shit when the big picture is overrunning them. So this is, I mean, this is what's needed. Uh, I've been at this for 20 years. Uh, Um, fighting this battle. You should have been doing this 20 years ago, man. If anybody that was, oh, man, you're a fruitcake. Well, uh, you know, 20 years ago, I was freaking, you know, 18 years old. I was hot-headed and ready to just fight. Yeah, you yeah. know? Now yeah, I'm ready yeah. to be proactive and say, yeah. okay, choose your battles. Uh, and if you got to if you got to pull a battle, get you an equalizer. Yeah, yeah. And no, it's just uh, everybody that's spoken tonight, you know, um, that, that's patriotism. That's America. Uh, they they know absolutely. what they want. They know what we need. And that's unusual. I, I, I don't know how often the rest of you have these conversations. I publicly speak. I'm all over. I practically do this for a living. And my God, I mean, between the people that are, well, let's just go with the people that are awake or that think they're awake. Some of the arguments you, they want to argue, it's like, Really? You know, who cares if it's an AK or an AR? That's not what this is about, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of stupid shit out there right now. Yeah, and really, do you want to go out there with your AK or your AR and think that you're a badass? Yeah. And you want to well, walk even, through puddles of blood? Or, even worse yet, are you fight, do you want to take this country back, you know, and take on somebody with unlimited resources? 
or do you want to defend it when they try to come after us? Those are two of the biggest arguments you have. And this country is split right down the middle over that. Oh, yeah. We, and we've got something coming. And, and, and honestly, yeah. I really did not anticipate this to happen in my lifetime. I really thought this was going to be my kids' <laughs> kids' problem. Roger that. But I Roger am that. glad that it is happening during a time in my generation where I'm still able-bodied to at least, and, and, and able-minded to stand up and say, nope, that's unacceptable. Yep. I refuse to just let that slide. Yep. Where well, hey, who, I can, who, who had up this call? I have to, too. excuse me, Brian. I'm sorry, I have Go to ahead. jump here Go in a minute. But who, who's, that, who's headed up this call? Uh, that was me. My name is Brian also. Brian, thank you so much. Uh, hey, man, it just needed to happen. It was it pretty did, much too. I, I was freaking out. I was on the phone with my uh, commander, <laughs> and, you know, he said, go ahead and do it, man. And, uh, you know, luckily I've got some yeah. connections, and uh, we got a bunch of patriots that did a real good call tree. You know, we just yeah. – I, I think we had at least yeah. 20, uh, 20 states represented today, so that was pretty awesome. Yeah, easy. Well, I would have spoke up sooner, but I, I'm kind of, you know, I I have a tendency. I, I ran a huge militia for a long time, stepped out of it. I've been visited a few times, stepped away, went underground. Uh, now we're firearms instructors, and that's what we do for a living. And um, like I said, man, you guys, th- this was awesome. I wish I could have had the West Coast on this call. We're, we run about 1,000 people strong up here, up and down the West Coast. Awesome. And uh, we're into it. Uh, anybody that's involved with militias on the West Coast, we don't allow them to even associate with us because we've been to we we drop in on them um, and they're out there drunk blowing up propane bottles. It's like seriously, <laughs> what kind of training is that? You know, way to represent, I mean, all, bro. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, all the way from Southern California to uh, the, the Canadian border, we've seen this shit. It's like okay. So we backed off and formed this group about five years ago, and it it, it grew like wildfire. And uh, uh, the guys are going to be glad. To, I wish I would have had them hop on the call, but we just wanted to, I wanted to see because, like I said, a lot of these calls, Brian, I have so much respect for you right now because you control the call well, and you're just American and want to send everybody else, but you have the words to be able to bring that into play. So that, that means a lot. And so did everybody else. There was a lot of good stuff spoken here tonight. And I'm going to really take off my you, Tony. Box. Hey, oh, I Tony, hey, I actually got a question for you, Stud. I, I don't, not positive how long you've been on. I've seen your name. We, uh, we, you know, we had talked uh, earlier in on the conversation, but I just want to make sure you've got the playback number for the rest of the guys, and that you're uh, aware that we're going to try to keep this line open as long as we can. Meaning, you could pass this out to other people. Find when there are boots in the ground. You know who's heading there, who's not. Maybe get. Uh, you know, sheriff, uh, one of the sheriffs, any sheriff for that sake on the conversation, or even if we can get some more soldiers, I'd like to talk to some active duty that can, you know, keep us going. I, and I know uh, mm-hmm. Warrior Point and a lot of other brothers out there passing the word out. And, uh, yep. you know, it's getting real late right now across the nation, but uh, I got a hunch, you know, tomorrow, that, you know, they're gonna, people are going to really start chiming in, you know, somewhere yeah, yeah. between 9 and 5, and hopefully we can yeah. keep using this as a hub for the rest of the nation right now. This takes up to 1,000 people. And uh, hopefully we all can keep spreading the word and letting people know this is here right now. Brian, let me uh, let me ask uh, California there. Uh, this is Eric Cron in in Texas. Uh, what what is your name? Because I would love to make friends with you on Facebook and get you into UA Mac. California. Were you talking to me? Yes, you, you, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not California. <laughs> well, you, uh, I actually oh, no. We got the we were on the West Coast. Uh, we you said West, West Coast. West I, I guess Coast, I, yeah. I I thought I I heard California. Was that, that no no worry? No, 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 that's okay. It's it's we, we have several members in California. The majority of our members run out of uh, Idaho, Washington, and Oregon. Can, can you give me an email address? Any any point of contact? I sure can. I sure can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll give you my personal one. Uh, it's it's all lower caps. It's we underscore the people of America. All one word at yahoo dot com. So we underscore people of America at yahoo dot com, sir. Yes, sir. Right, thank you. And I hey, tell you what, what might even be easier because. Uh, 
I've been grandfathered into it because I've been on Facebook so long. Uh, if you want to hit me on Facebook, it's uh, some people on here are probably going to hang up because I'm so controversial. It's uh, Recon America. It's oh, Facebook man, page. that was light duty. Well, you got <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting some serious stuff there. <laughs> no, no, no. If See, they, they, you're not allowed to have an... You're not allowed to have anonymous accounts uh, as of two years ago on Facebook. Their terms of service, they grandfathered me in, and they keep trying to get me to give it up, and I won't allow it because too many people use that account and post. And we have people worldwide that research stories, not just locally, but we have them worldwide. So if we post something out of Syria or Iraq, that means we got boots on the ground over there. That's how long we've been doing this. Wow. We have a lot of active service people that we have to keep protected. We, we work everything on throwaway phones. We've been doing this for a long time, guys. That's why I wanted to get involved and hear what you guys were doing. Uh, well, we were there with I, you. I Go ahead and shoot me. Your Go ahead and IM company. me. Anybody can IM me on recon. I will shoot you to a highly encrypted email system that you, we can communicate back and forth in. Uh, I can even give you how to get to it. It's a free system. Uh, we've been using it for a couple of years. Uh, we actually know the guy that made it. Uh, and that's how we communicate. Well, if you would, everybody, everybody listening in, uh, it's time for me to go ahead and try and get some winks. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed speaking to you all. You know, yes, this has been just... Definitely a wake up call to to understand exactly what everybody's stance is with with this problem that's going on, and it's not another wake up. I mean, it's this this is unique to itself. Yep. And I I really really enjoyed speaking with y'all and uh, listening to y'all and having having a. a a different standpoint from each person that had something to say, but we are all on the same page. It's yep. nice to know that I'm it not is. crazy. It is. You know? Thank you, sir. <laughs> hey, Brian, is this Brian? This is Brian uh, Walker. Okay, Okay, Brian, This, this you is, say this call is probably going to go to 9 Brian. to 5? Yeah, yeah. Probably 9 to 5 tomorrow with the same number and everything? Um. I'm yeah. I'm I'm thinking nine central um, is when I'm going to turn it back on. That's when I'll have time. You know, I have maybe even a little bit earlier. But I, I actually will be at work between those times. Um, I'll sure. try to chime in and moderate when and where I can. Um, but after that, then I'll be able to uh, to assist in monitoring and helping out again after five. All right, sir. I'm going to pass this through the group then, if you don't mind. Uh, please, by all means, man, make sure that goes up and down any ladder in any state, any patriot. I, we, again, it can handle a thousand people. Um, you know, this is going to be their best resource. There's so much crap going on on the internet right now, as, yep. as we've yep. been speaking for the yep. last five so five plus hours, yep. and uh, it's all over the place now. And uh, you know, hopefully, th this you know this call makes some waves and, and, and does the right thing, and you know, gets people on the same page. I, I do not want to see one drop of blood. I don't want to hear about one shot fired. If we can get out get out in the heads of those soldiers, let them know, hey, man, we're your brothers. You're taking illegal orders, man. We need dudes out there with flyers, passing them yep. to them. Get pretty girls out there with flowers, man. Pretty girls with flowers. Yep. Do it. <laughs> so, uh, yep. just, just do it. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I'd hate to have kids in that scenario, but who's going to shoot on a bunch of pretty girls with flowers, period? You know, Instead of these people antagonizing the police and kicking sand at the dogs, you know, get them to calm the hell down. They're the ones that are antagonizing the cops right now. Uh, I, I admit, the cops have antagonized. They, I, they shouldn't even be there. You're right. You, we're in a we're in a soft martial law over there, as far as I know. Um, undeclared soft martial law is nothing to fuck with because that can go to their DEFCON one and, at any given time. Right now, and you've got right now. you know, f right federalized troops and such that can be called on. Right now, they're using contractors, which bugs the living shit out of me. Um, oh yeah. It, 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 there's no rules. There's no. There's no gaze. There's nobody's going to take responsibility. So it's really going to come down, in my eyes, to the most constitutional authority in that realm, which is going to be the sheriffs. If the sheriffs don't get on board, 
get some deputies to step up and take his place. If that guy has got to get arrested for not doing his job, put a lien on his fucking $250,000 bond, get him out of there and put the next guy that's going to do the right thing in there, right? Enough's enough. People want to be on it. Are we talking about Sheriff Gillespie? (laughs) Yeah. All right, I'm out. I've got to get this number out. I just read something. He's on the Commission for Homeland Security. Right, so they just want to increase, you know, their budget a little bit and make things a little bit harsher out there. At this point, that's what they want, you know, and we need to give them the opposite of what they want. They're not expecting a bunch of people to come out there and be prepared and back themselves up if need be while being extremely peaceful, as respectful as humanly possible, and uh, taking them the hell out of the, the, you know, calling them out on their fraud. They're there illegally get out. We can handle our own. That's pretty much what it's going to come down to. You know, I spoke with an officer at Sheriff Gillespie's office yesterday who told me that the FBI was the lead agency. Um, So I set the officer straight as much as I could, but I've got the sheriff's press secretary's cell phone number if anybody is interested. Um, I've called, left a number, left a message several times. Of of, of that of that county, no kidding. All right. Yes, of Sheriff Gillespie. It's his press secretary. His name is Tyler. 